Hi everyone, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. I woke up at 2 a.m. today and it's 2 p.m. So I've been up and traveling for 12 hours now and I'm still not done. But I'm currently in Muscat Airport in Oman. It's literally, I swear it's the quietest airport in the world. Like this is so awkward, just nobody's speaking. But if you guys have not been following along with my videos, I spent the last five weeks in Tanzania. I was volunteering in a school and then I traveled also to Zanzibar. So if you want to check out those vlogs, I'll link them all below. Today at 6 a.m. I left Zanzibar. It does feel strange leaving. I'm very excited and I was very ready to leave but yeah today I'm flying to Dubai. I am literally going to be in Dubai for like 12 hours I think but I wanted to vlog it because it's a travel day and also because I absolutely love Dubai. Even though I'm only there for 12 hours I'm going to make the most of it. So if you've not been following along I'll just fill you in on like my plan. I'm moving to Australia and I arrive in Oz at the beginning of February so Dubai is kind of like a layover stop between Africa and Southeast Asia so I'm going from Dubai to Asia and then from Asia to Australia basically. Stay tuned if you want to see all of that but yeah I'm just at my gate now waiting to board so I've got two flights to Dubai. The first one I had at 6am and it was from Zanzibar to Muscat which is where I am now. It was like five hours and now my second flight I think is only an hour and 45 minutes so it's not too bad. Oh it's last call for boarding so I better go get on the plane but I will catch up with you guys when I land in Dubai. actually only 50 minutes so it's not as long as I thought. I actually didn't say before I boarded but I'm meeting a friend here in Dubai, my friend Ashna and then me and her are going to be traveling together for like the next three weeks or so around Asia so I'm really excited. She's already here in Dubai. I'm just going to like go through immigration and get my bag and then I need to change and like fix this because I'm in Dubai so I want to look nice but yeah I'm really excited. When you arrive in Dubai as a backpacker, getting an outfit out, I've got the makeup out, just in the toilet trying to make myself look a bit more Dubai. Okay, so I just arrived and got my bags and everything. Ashna is running late because of Dubai traffic. She's in a taxi which is going to be probably like 20-30 minutes. So I've been in a couple of bathrooms now to get changed and I also wanted a plug socket so I could straighten my hair but they didn't have any in the bathrooms. It was like just standard airport bathrooms. Sometimes you get like the really nice ones that have plug sockets and like nice mirrors but it wasn't like that. So anyway I just sat in um, a little cafe and I'm just going to straighten my hair here. Ashna now <laughs> and look what she's brought us this whole bag of English snacks what a legend because you can't get any of this while traveling so so excited I'm so excited we've been stood here for like an hour trying to leave our bags no progress yet it's like 6 30 now I think isn't yeah it? it is we've been here for like an hour such a joke so we made it to Dubai Mall and we've come straight to my favorite restaurant which factory. I forced Ashton to come here even though I think she doesn't like it as much as I do. But it's literally my favourite. It's my favourite in the whole world. I always go when I'm in America and I don't know why but they've got one in Dubai so I'm very excited. Just waiting for a table. Are you hungry? I'm starving. I'm ready to eat. Look at all the cheesecakes. Yeah. So guys if you've never been they literally have like biggest menu like it's got everything but i've been ordering the same thing for like 10 years or however long i've been going which let me find it i just said i'll cry if they've taken it off oh no there it is tomato basil pasta this sounds really boring but honestly best pasta like of 
of my life and I love pasta. So I could choose so many things off this menu. Oh my god, then a bon cheesecake. Ooh! Also guys, the best thing about Cheesecake Factory is the bread basket that you get. I'm like obsessed with it. This one's like a chocolatey. I say it's like chocolate, which yeah, is kind it's of like a sweet taste. Like a sweet bread. Well actually the white one is my favourite. But I do like that one as well. So, here it is. Oh my god. Best pasta ever. And Ashley got a salad. <laughs> Staying healthy. Trying to. Just in case you guys have never seen, Dubai Mall has a giant aquarium just in the middle of the mall. It's the coolest thing ever. And Ashley just said it never gets old. Like, Looking at it, it's just so, so cool every time. Just come to my first I mean, Starbucks I in five weeks. Did you see how he wrote Emma as well? Like, Emma, like as in the guy who owns all of this. <laughs> Ashton is laying out the display of stuff that she's brought for us. This is so, I love this. I never came prepared with like snacks when I went traveling. I think I've got a few mini bags of Haribo and that's it. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Oh, chewing gum, look, she's got everything. Oh, <laughs> oh here we go, here we go, there's more. Stop. Wait, there's more. There's more. I love that you've got cereal bars as well. I love a good cereal bar. I love Smarties and I love Milky Bar. So pretty. We've just watched the fountain show. We've seen it twice tonight. Twice, right? Yeah. It's on every 30 minutes in the evening and they play basically different fountain sequences to different songs. And it's really, really good. It's free, so if you're in Dubai, you have to see that. Whenever I come to Dubai, I watch it like every 30 minutes or every hour. <laughs> We're here for like another hour, so we're probably going to watch it again, but yeah, it never gets old. It's so, so pretty at night time. It's now half 11. I'm really starting to flag now. I'm very tired. Just went to try and go in Bath and Body Works, but the shops are actually closing. I remember them being open later than it's normally, but, but like the mall itself, and especially outside, like the cafes and stuff, is really busy. That's what I love about Dubai. Like it's literally midnight, and loads of people will still be out just like yeah. having coffee, not even drinking like alcohol, but just like having coffee, like food, and just chilling. It's cultural here to, it is, to eat out late. coffee and like yeah, and eat cake. late. Yeah, it's quite normal. Um, it feels like the city just never sleeps. It's pretty cool. I don't think I said this. I can't remember, but Ashna has been living in Dubai for a year, right? Yeah. One year now. She's yeah. from Manchester, but she's been living here for a year. But she's like quit her job and apartment and everything now to go travelling. So she's doing a few weeks with me and then doing some more travelling around Asia after that. Yeah. So she's very excited. I was just walking to the food court because we should feel like having something else to eat and we've got more time to kill so I'm not sure I might get dessert or the food court's got literally everything here so I can't come to Dubai and not get a Cinnabon. It is currently midnight. I'm waiting Cinnabon before we go to the airport. Well ashton has got McDonald's. Happy Stop meal. with the salad and being <laughs> a healthy and we're going for a happy meal. Well, goodbye Dubai. It's been a sweet 12 hours until we meet again. Don't know when that'll be. Maybe this year, maybe not. But it's been cute. See ya! To the airport we go. <laughs> now I'm trying the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. What's the verdict? Actually, it's, it feels really nice and soft. I feel like my skin needed something because I've been up 24 hours now. I love how you're doing a full skincare. Like, we've got to make the most because it's like... <laughs> We should try this till we get told off. Yeah. Let's go. Your skin is glowing. Finally on the 